Imagine you've just given birth to a newborn, and instead of enjoying this precious once-in-a-lifetime moment, you smell hard drugs in the air, crack or meth being smoked just a few hospital rooms over. Imagine you've been in a car accident, you're fighting for your life, and someone in the bed next to you lights up a crack pipe. You look down and see that that person has a large machete in their bag. You tell the nurse or the doctor, and they say, sorry, it's allowed now, and we've been forbidden from touching or taking away these weapons and drugs, so you're just going to have to hope that this person does not harm you. Now, this might sound like something out of a horror film, not from the real world, but unfortunately, after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP, the real world is a horror film. Because what I just described is exactly what the BC U Nurses Union has publicly reported. They have reported that members of their union were unable to breastfeed their kids because they had breathed in crack or meth smoke at work and were worried about the poison that might then have contaminated their breast milk. Let's not be naive about it. The immense financial strain that people are under is contributing to the drug crisis that has exploded over the last nine years. But we cannot admit, uh, ignore the fact that Trudeau and the NDP have imposed radical policies that made everything worse. They have decriminalized hard drugs, a mistake that, that, Trudeau, that the NDP has now admitted has contributed to the problem. They allowed crack to be smoked in parks next to kids. They allowed meth to be smoked on public transit next to seniors late at night when those our elderly were all alone. And of course, they allowed hard drug use and weapons in our hospitals. They continue to give out tax-funded opioids provided by the same companies that caused the crisis in the first place who continue to profit off the misery and the results are in. There is an increase of 380% in drug overdose deaths under these NDP liberal policies. This radical ideological approach is killing our people. Now, it will be a while before we hold the carbon tax election, at which time common sense conservatives can choose a different path to bring home safety. In the meantime, we are determined to protect our hospitals from this liberal NDP insanity. And that is why I'm here today. Since Trudeau formed government, over 4,200 Canadians have died of overdoses, a 400% increase in Nanaimo alone. The results have been catastrophic. The BC Nurses Union has reported that meth has been smoked in a unit just hours before the birth of a newborn baby in northern BC. The Public Health Agency put out a memo telling hospital staff to allow patients to bring, ni to bring knives and other weapons into hospitals. This is the result of the wacko decriminalization Trudeau and the NDP brought in. Two years ago, the Liberal government granted the BC NDP request to allow hard drugs across the provinces, in the province including in public places. This reckless and radical and wacko policy has killed 2,500 British Columbians in one year alone. Meanwhile, community spaces like soccer fields uh, and hospitals and city squares are devastated by crime. The Abbotsford Soccer Association had to comb through the field before the games to make sure there were no dirty needles, crack pipes, or other drug fair paraphernalia. British Columbians are seeing their pets have drug overdoses from sniffing dangerous substances that have been left in formerly idyllic and peaceful parks. Not only that, but now Trudeau is considering a request from Toronto to replicate his radical experiment with decriminalization. Enough is enough. Common sense conservatives will not allow this devastation and this experiment to play out in other Canadian communities. Communities. Canadians deserve a government that will keep hard drugs out of hospitals and will protect staff and patients. We will pass the Safe Hospitals Act. 
It will create an aggravating factor for, for sentencing anyone who brings an illegal and unauthorized weapon into a hospital. Two, it will take away the discretion from the federal health minister under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act to decriminalize illicit drugs like fentanyl and meth, crack, and heroin in hospitals. This means that if Trudeau grants Toronto or Montreal's request to decriminalize hard drugs, our hospitals will, at least our hospitals will be protected. We will also push for the immediate passage of common sense conservative MP Todd Doherty's Bill C-321, which will create an aggravating factor for assaults committed against healthcare workers and first responders. In other words, if you attack a nurse, a paramedic, or a doctor, you will go for, to jail for longer. To be clear, this common sense bill, the Safe Co Hospitals Act, will not apply to any drugs prescribed by medical professionals like doctors and nurses. The Safe Hospitals Act will stop some of the insanity that Trudeau and the NDP have unleashed in our communities. Not only that, we will give Canadians a choice in the next election between a costly coalition of Trudeau and the NDP that tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs, and unleash crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder in your community. Or common sense conservatives who will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Now, let's bring it home. Thank you.